Yo, what's going on ladies and gents? My name is Arbuckle. Welcome back to another video. Today we are once again back on Modern Warfare and I wanted to share with you guys the best class setup for the new AUG Anti-Venom Blueprint. Uh, this is actually a really good blueprint. If you guys take a look at the attachments that come with the original blueprint, you'll see that we get a really nice boost to accuracy, range, and control and we get a very, very minor boost to mobility. We don't lose anything. Overall, a really good blueprint. However, we can make this better. Uh, so if you guys take a look at the attachments or the stats at least, uh, for the class setup that I'm going to share with you in this video, you'll see that we get a little bit more of an accuracy and range boost. We still get that nice control boost, and instead of just gaining a tiny bit of mobility, we actually get a really, really good mobility boost as well. So obviously a much better class setup that I think a lot of you guys are going to be able to do well with. So if you guys take a look at the attachments, we're not going to be using a muzzle. The barrel that we're using is the 407 millimeter extended barrel. With this, we're getting damage range, bullet velocity, and recoil control, giving us major boost to accuracy, range, and control. We lose a tiny bit of mobility here, which is obviously made up for with some of the other attachments. The laser that we're using is the TAC laser, so obviously we're getting more aim down sight speed, aiming stability, and aim walking steadiness. We get a really nice boost to accuracy, mobility, and control here. We don't lose anything. The laser is visible to enemies, but this is an AUG SMG that we're going to be playing really aggressive with, so uh, having that laser visible isn't going to be that big of a deal, considering most of our gunfights are going to be really close quarters. We're not going to be using an optic. Don't really think we need one. Again, this is going to be more of a rushing class. Uh, we've got a nice mobility. We don't really need a scope. We're not trying to shoot people from too far away. Um, and we don't want to lose more aim down sight speed there. The stock that we're using is the FTAC Ultralight Hollow. So with this, we're getting aim walking movement speed, giving us a major boost to mobility. This is going to be one of the attachments that really helps us get that mobility boost up at the end of the class setup. Uh, so this is going to be really important. So make sure you are running the FTAC Ultralight Hollow stock. The underbrow that we're using is Commando Foregrip. So with this reason, we're getting recoil control and aiming stability, giving us another massive boost to accuracy, range, and control. A little bit of mobility is lost here, which obviously uh, we made up for with the last attachment. A lot of people ask me why I don't use something like the Ranger Foregrip, the Operator Foregrip, or even the Merc Foregrip. The reason for that is we're going to lose more aim down sight speed with either of those three, which we don't want to do on this SMG. We're trying to be mobile. We're trying to have a quick aim down sight speed and sprint to fire speed. By running either of those, we're really going to slow ourselves down. So we're going to rock the commando foregrip. Uh, last but not least, the rear grip that we're using is stippled grip tape. This is, again, going to give us a nice little mobility boost, giving us more aim down sight speed and sprint to fire speed, which obviously, as most of you guys know by now, is very, very important, especially with these SMGs that we're playing aggressive with. But uh, I'll give you guys one last look at all the attachments and all the stats that are going to come with this specific class setup. If you guys have any questions about the original blueprint or this specific class setup, make sure to leave a comment down below, and I'll be sure to try to help some of you guys out. I really hope you guys did enjoy this video. Please make sure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and I'll see all you guys in the next video.